another day, another startup. Recently, I started a challenge to build 30 AI-powered startups in 30 days, documenting the entire journey. On day 2, I launched a Chrome extension that helps you generate smart replies to posts on X. In this video, I will walk you through the entire process, so you can understand what it really takes to build a profitable Chrome extension. Let me be clear. This is not just an experimental project. It's already gained many paying users and continues to be actively used by most of them. At the end of the video, I will share how much money it made in total. If you want to learn how to build a Chrome extension or get the source code, check the description below. You can self-host and publish this extension using your own OpenAI API key as well. So let's preview how our extension works. Just add the extension, create your free account, enter your details and even add a custom prompt. You can literally customize AI to generate replies that sound like you. You can turn it into a pirate or even a cat. It will reply exactly how you describe. While some people liked the product, others criticized it, saying we shouldn't use AI to write replies because it's not authentic and sounds very AI-like. And I totally understand that, they have got a point. That's why I did my best to optimize the prompts to make the replies super human-like and not robotic, and I think I managed to get what I wanted pretty much. Some of my users have even suggested fine-tuning the AI using real-life scenarios, for example, actual posts and replies on X written by humans to make it even smarter. I'm currently working on it and will update you guys with another video soon. Okay. The actual reason I built this extension is because the X algorithm really values engagement through replies. If your goal is to grow on X and get monetized, it's very difficult to achieve that without replying to other people's posts. Since time is limited, you can use AI tools like this to reach your goals faster. Plus, it's actually affordable. Thankfully, some people agreed with me that this product is needed and I've already got multiple paying customers. Let's check closer to see what it takes to publish a profitable Chrome extension. I will start with the tech stack. I use Vanilla.js for the extension itself, which acts as the interface, and Next.js 15 for the backend. Basically, I capture the posts on X with my extension and send it to my Next.js server, which analyzes it using OpenAI and generates a reply. Please note, it's instant and real-time. I do not store any content, responses or user data in my database. I only keep sign-up info and some basic details, like whether a user has paid or no. I would say building the extension interface was the toughest part. You need to connect the extension's front-end to Next.js backend, handle authentication, and extract post content directly from x.com stomp. First, you need to know how to use developer tools to find the relevant container IDs on X to insert your sentiment buttons. Similarly, you will need to get the correct query selectors for the post container in order to send it to your backend. And when the reply is generated, you need to insert the content in exactly the right place so you can click reply and send it. In short, if you don't have much experience, you might get lost. Also, as you can see, we have five sentiment buttons. Initially, I planned to have just one button to generate one reply, then I changed my mind to make it more playful. Of course, don't forget about the backend, because it's just as important as the extension itself. I have to admit I did a lot of prompt engineering myself to boost the quality of the replies. If you are wondering, I use GPT-40 Mini because it's good enough and more affordable. I pay around 5 cents for 50 replies unless I miscalculated. But I was actually never fully satisfied with the generated results. Since I haven't finished the fine tuning part, I said why not to let users handle the prompt engineering themselves. That way they can't blame me if they don't like the results. I added a custom prompt section and ta-da, if you don't like my version, write your own, and AI will follow it exactly. I also included a usage UI which shows how many replies you have generated if you are on the free version. You can try it completely for free with no credit card required. After generating 20 replies, the system warns you that you have hit the usage limit and directs you to the billing page. My next goals are to implement this for LinkedIn, which is almost done, and Reddit, which looks really difficult. One of the toughest parts for me was submitting the extension to the Chrome Web Store for approval. It can take any 
anywhere from 5 to 10 days or even up to a month to get approved. In my case, it got rejected at first because I asked for too many permissions even though I didn't need them. I fixed the issue, resubmitted and thankfully got approved the second time much faster. You can check out the extension by visiting fingerflows.com and if you want to create your own Chrome extension, check the link in the description below. Once everything was set, I started posting about the extension on Reddit forums, Twitter, Product Hunt and so on. I got many signups, though not all of them installed and started using it. When I interviewed some of these people to understand why, I realized that most of them were mobile users and the extensions simply don't work on mobile. I would probably have more paid users if it worked in app itself. Still, they liked the concept and gave me some helpful tips and ideas for the future. I've got more than 10 paid users and yes, some were just testing it out and cancel their subscriptions. But I still have active users and a few even subscribe to annual plan. This was my second product from the 30 AI products in 30 days challenge where I built AI products and shared the entire journey. If you want to learn about vibe coding, prompt engineering or get the source code, check the description below. Let me know what you think about the product and what we should build in the next video. You can also share your Chrome extension idea and we can roast it. If you liked, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Until then, I wish you a wonderful day.